and thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel, Kate May, Modern Day Mystic. We are looking at tarot scopes for the month of April, and we are looking at you gorgeous water signs. So let's have a look first of all at Cancer. We're gonna have a look, Cancer. Oh, I've just dropped half of them. Shoot. We're gonna have a look, Cancerians, at your love life first of all for the month of, let me get that the right way, uh, for the month of um, April. Doesn't bode well, does it, if I drop them all in your love life? But let's have a look, Cancerians. What's going on in the month of love for you? Okay. The Fool. Take some new opportunities. Take a little bit of risks in that love area. You may not know where things are heading, but you never know what you get if you try. There's no point thinking, oh, I wish I did that, I wish I did that. Make, um, make some things happen here. Take that bit of a risk, take that adventure. If you are in a relationship, this card says that there's new things coming up for you. And to embrace these new things, take that little bit of a risk there, Cancer. Maybe have a look at some short distance travels or being a bit more spontaneous. If you're single, then this card indicates that you need to be able to just kind of go, fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. This card, um, where are we, Cancer area? for you indicates if you're single that you need to be really taking your time and going out there and looking further afield for a bit of love you know taking a bit of a risk sometimes we always go for the same type of person but this card says be original do something a bit different and be spontaneous about it now let's have a look around your finances there Cancerians around your finances this month oh it's a little bit tough for you okay oh did you see that flash this is a little bit tough, so be careful what's coming in and what's going out, all right? This asks you just to be mindful about money. The good news is it's only temporary. So if April is a little bit where you've got to hold the purse strings there, Cancer, it's not going to be forever. It also asks you to reach out. If you feel like things are a bit stuck, if you feel like you know, you're really struggling, do reach out because there is help there. Don't be so stubborn that you end up just plodding on yourself, left out in the cold when everybody else can enjoy their life, you know? So do reach out and ask for help, but be mindful about what's coming in and what's going out around your finances. For April Cancerians, you've been warned. Let's have a look now in your work area, Cancerians. Oh, we've got the devil. So it could be that the work is causing the issue there. Now, the devil card brings choices to you. At first glance, you think, shit, oh my God. Maybe your work is controlling you. Maybe your hands are tied. Maybe you've got things going on that you don't really want to be doing and it's bringing you down. But this card says you've got choices. At first glance, you can see you've got the chains around their necks. So they think they're bound and you can see they're starting to morph into the devil very slowly. But this card is better when it's reversed and those chains can come out and that morphine stops and you have the freedom to break free and some people say well I haven't got a choice I need that job but if it's not doing you any favors get another job have a look do something about it you've got the choice you're not as stuck as what you first think you are now let's have a look at your um Oh, that's it, isn't it? I've done it all. I've done it all. I've done your love life, I've done your money, and I've done your work. There you go, Aquarians. Uh, the cancers, whatever is going on with my brain. Um, not the best month. Make, maybe take a bit of a risk in love. That might be your saving grace there. Um, but maybe just be a bit careful and a bit kind on yourself. Okay, let's move in to Scorpios now. Let's have a look what we've got going on. Scorpio for your love life. Okay, your love life here. Page of Pentacles, Scorpios. Now, this could be that you're a bit hesitant. You know, you've got some plans, but you're not too sure what you want to do with them. Maybe you've got your eye on somebody, but you're just being a little bit cautious before you leap onto them there. If you're in a relationship here, it's talking about making practical choices and practical decisions. So if things have been a bit stalemate in your love area, you're going to have to do something about it. But this card does bring a promise of better things to come. Whether you're single or whether you're with somebody, it does bring a, pr a promise that things will start to improve. You're at the beginning stage of something a little bit more exciting coming in there for you. However, practicality is key within that there. You may find that you've got a younger lover than yourself. You may find you're gonna be connected to an earth sign. So a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo there. Um, usually Scorpio and Taurus are opposites and they usually get on really well. So you might find that actually you do find an earth sign that you connect strongly with in your love life. Let's have a look now, Scorpios, around your work area. Oops, okay. He just jumped out and it's not looking good, I'm afraid. 
go back to bed. So this card is about losses. It's about loss and gain, really. This card is said, stop moaning about the past. Stop looking at the cup half full. Wherever your work is draining you, wherever something is not working, accept it. Just admit it and look around you. See all the amazing things that you've got. Don't waste time on spending on spending. Don't waste time spending it on things that are just not worth it anymore or linked to past emotions. There, it's done. Don't cry over spilt milk. But the positive news is here that you've got um, really lots of hope coming in there. There is so much more potential if only you could see it, Scorpios. Okay, let's have a look at your finances now, Scorpios. Your finance area, Queen of Cups. Now your finances ask you to deal with things in an emotional way. Make sure that you are balanced in everything to do with your finances. This is saying, please try and be in control of things. You know, you could open a can of worms, but maybe you wanna keep a lid on those things at the moment. You've got to be in control of your finances here. If you've got family members coming in, asking you, you know, bank of mum or dad there, then maybe keep a lid on it. Maybe say, hold on a minute, let's just wait and save a few pennies or go and earn your own there. So put a little bit of a lid on your finances there. But this is about being you being in control of your finances this month and you being in charge of things there. And emotionally, almost like detaching that emotional sense to your finances there. Understanding that it is just money, we can't take it with us. So, you know, getting that balance with your finances there will be better for you, Scorpios. And there you go, um, water signs. Oh no, I've still got one more, haven't I? I've still got Pisces, how could I forget Pisces? Okay, Pisces, let's have a look at your love area. We've got the nine of pentacles, Pisces, in your love area. Now, this card indicates mutual respect. Oh, I've got a random child, thank you. Ra um, mutual respect coming in around your relationships. If you're single, this is, says you're going to want somebody who is a meeting of your minds. So you're going to be interested in people that make you tick, that have equal to your life. You know, they've got either the home, they've got the job. They're not going to be someone who's going to suck you, suck you dry in any area. If you're with somebody, this is great because it indicates that together you can start to enjoy a little bit more luxury in your life. Your hard work is going to start to pay off Pisces and you can enjoy the fruits of your labour together there. But also keeping an independence side of things as well. Let's have a look Pisces in your work area now. For the month of April, what's going on? Oh, what's going on here? April, work, Pisces. Oh, it's the Three of Swords. Be a little bit careful here. Maybe you're doing a job that you're not happy with. Maybe somebody really, really gets your goat this month. Maybe there's a bit of a disappointment. But as every disappointment, there's always a silver lining. Now this card says, accept a situation in a work matter. Try not to hold on to that pain, release it. This is one of those cards that are better reversed. Then the swords can come out, let the tears flow, and those wounds can be healed. If you hold on to it, there's no chance of those wounds heal healing. So Pisces in your work area, if there is some disappointment, if there is a little bit of sadness going on there, let yourself be emotional, cry it all out, but don't hold on to it. Let's have a look now, Pisces, in your finance area. Let's hope it's a bit better than that. The lovers. So in your finance area, it's all about choices and communication, Pisces, in April. So do speak what you want. Do put your, literally put your cards on the table. If you've got a partner here, you could be literally weighing up all your finances and you might find you've got decisions to make that are quite huge there between the two of you. If you're single, this card indicates that you will be reaching out to someone to help you with your finances and you're having to make big decisions there. Don't make them on your own. There's going to be someone there that can help you, that can support you in your finances finance area make that choice together but big choices coming in around your finances to help you get that balance of things Pisces and to help you get um, that feeling of being a little bit more even keel with everything there but communication is the key okay everybody thank you for watching I uh, do hope that they make sense for you do drop a comment for me let me know that it's all on board please subscribe to this channel and do follow me on Instagram as well Kate May Modern Day Mystic I will be back with some more um, interesting things going on if any of you are interested in joining my new VIP Mystic membership lounge then contact me on www.katemay.co.uk lots of love have a fabulous april water signs and i will see you soon